video demonstrates the 20 stitch repeat um, that's required to knit this Aran capelet. Now how many repeats you put into it depends on your size and also how much flair you would like in the poncho or capelet. So in three parts I'm going to show you how I did this capelet. Now there are written instructions available to purchase from my website um, should you need them. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get on with the video tutorial how to. I have used a chunky yarn called Freedom by Twilies. The ball band has a recommended stocking stitch tension of 10 stitches and 14 rows to 10 centimetres or 4 inches using 10 millimetre needles. The capelet has been knitted in colour 430 smoke blue. With 10 millimetre needles, cast on in multiples of 19 and the first row will be knit 3, purl 16 and repeat that th sequence throughout. I've made a marker in readiness for row 2, look, so I'm going to use that now throughout. It's good practice to do so. So row 2 we're going to increase that 19 stitch repeat to a 20 stitch repeat and that will remain constant for a while from then on. And now the repeat for row 2 is as follows. We're going to increase from 19 stitches to 20 on this row. So we begin by knitting one and then we're going to knit one into the back of the next stitch and then knit into the front so we're increasing one stitch there then knit one and then purl two now we're going to do three sets of trinity stitch so we're going to begin by knitting three together And then with the next stitch we're going to purl one, knit one, purl one into it. So we're going to create three stitches from one. So I'm purling, going back into the same stitch to knit it, bringing the yarn forward to purl again into that same stitch. So purling, knitting, purling into the same stitch. So that completes one set. Got another two of those to do knit three together, purl one, knit one, purl one, all into that same stitch, knit three together, purl one, knit one, purl one and we're going to end our repeat by purling two then repeat that sequence throughout the entire row we're now going to work the main repeat the main repeat is worked over four rows um, so we're going to call this row one again so row one knit four and then purl 16 and repeat that sequence throughout the row row two you need to cable front four cf4 so all that means is you slip two stitches into a cable needle and hold in the front knit two and then knit two from your cable needle so slip those on the left needle there and knit them so that's a CF4 cable front four sometimes called C4F as well then we purl two Now we're going to do some trinity stitch. This time we're going to start by purling one, knitting one, 
purling one all into that same stitch and then knitting three together. Complete another two sets of Trinity stitch, beginning with purl one, knit one, purl one, all into the same stitch and then knitting three together. So you've got one more set of those to do. Whoops. Purl one, knit one, purl one, into that same stitch, last set, knit three together and then end on a purl two. Row three is the same as row one in that you knit four and purl sixteen. Row 4, knit 4, purl 2 and then do 3 sets of trinity stitch beginning with a knit 3 together this time. So knit 3 together and then purl 1, knit 1, purl 1 into the same stitch and do another 2 sets. Now you end row 4 by purling 2 and then you repeat that sequence throughout. So the rows 1 to 4 that I've just shown you form the main repeat which you can see here. And what you need to do is work three more of the repeats as I've just shown and then you need to complete rows one and two and then that will get you up to this point here so in all you'll have five cable twists here the next shots show the actual po uh, poncho or capelet being knitted up and it shows this movement of the cable splitting to reveal the purl stitches so let's move on to the cable movement section. So the repeat for row one goes like this. So we knit two. Then we make one by picking up a strand and purling into the back of it. And then we're going to knit two and purl 16. And you repeat that sequence throughout. Row two, begin the repeat by knitting two, then make one by picking up a strand and purling into the back of it. Purl one and knit two. Then we purl two and complete three sets of Trinity stitch. And we begin the Trinity stitch by knitting three together. Oops, slip those back on that left needle, start again knit three together and then purl one, knit one, purl one into the same stitch and complete two more sets. At the end of the repeat in row two you end by purling two Each section will now consist of 22 stitches. Row 3, knit 2, purl 2, knit 2 
and finish by purling 16. I have reached the end of row 3, now the very last repeat. Do not knit the last stitch because you're going to use it on the next round um, in the cable sequence. So row 3, do not work the last stitch. So I'm for ease going to transfer it over onto the left needle and place my marker here. Row 4 Get yourself a cable needle and slip the first stitch and hold it to the back of the work and knit two. Then slip that stitch from the cable needle back on to the left needle and purl it. Then we're going to make one from a strand and we're going to purl into the back. Purl two make one again, purl into the back, cable needle out, slip the next two stitches and hold them in the front of the work and purl one. Transfer the cable needle stitches back onto the left needle and knit two. Now the trinity stitch, we're going to lose some of our stitches here to compensate for the increases. So what we need to do is begin by purling two and that stitch there would have been a purl one, knit one, purl one, so in just purling it we've um, decreased two. Now we're going to knit three together purl one, knit one, purl one knit three together and again here we're just going to purl one which means we haven't done the increase so we've lost two stitches there and then we're going to knit three together and purl one and repeat that sequence again so that is one of the trickiest rows, row 4. Now you will have 20 stitches again, so you'll be back to the 20 stitch repeat. Row 5, knit 2, purl 6, knit 2 and purl 10. At the end of row 5 do not work the last stitch so we'll move it over onto the left needle ready to start the next round. Row 6 so we slip that purl stitch onto a cable needle, knit two, purl the stitch from the cable needle, make one from a strand and purl into the back of it,
pearl six. Slip two onto your cable needle and hold in the front and pearl one. Then slip those stitches onto your left needle and knit two. You pearl two together knit three together then purl one knit one purl one and end purling two together and repeat that sequence again. Row 7, we begin by knitting 2, then we purl 9, and end by knitting 2 and purling 6. Repeat that sequence throughout row 7, except again on the last stitch don't work it, slip it onto the left needle and that prepares it for the cable on the following round. Row 8. Get your cable needle and hold one at the back of the work. You'll then knit two and then purl this stitch that was previously on the cable needle. Make one purlwise into the back of the stitch, then proceed to purl nine stitches. Make one purlwise, then get your cable needle and hold two in the front of your work, purl one, and then knit two from your cable needle. End by purling one and knitting three together and repeat that sequence throughout. Row nine. Begin by knitting two and purling thirteen. After you've purled thirteen, you need to knit two and then purl two and repeat that sequence throughout. So ending on a purl two. Bear in mind that the very last stitch um, will be slipped in order to work the next round. Row 10. Slip the next stitch onto a cable needle and hold at the back of the work. Knit two then purl the stitch from the cable needle. Proceed to purl another 13 stitches. Once you've purled those 13 stitches you'll need your cable needle again. Slip the next two stitches and hold in the front of the work. Purl one and then knit the two stitches from your cable needle. To continue with your capelet, please see my video guides part two and three.